Joe and Andy here again with the uh, Varicam 35 and our fancy uh, DIT cart. Uh, I wanted to continue the last video we did on the Varicam 35, uh, talking about the menus and the structures, but this time really talking about how the camera can handle uh, live color grading. The camera is very powerful in terms of its ability to load in 3D lookup tables and CDL files and apply them to various outputs, on monitor outputs, the viewfinder, etc. But it can also take in uh, live color correction by a, a live grading software from Pomford. This is Pomford's live grade software, which is very popular uh, across the board. So I can take this tool and directly talk to this camera and adjust on the fly. So it's very powerful. So let me show you quickly how you kind of get that going uh, and then some of the options you have uh, in the camera and in live grade. Uh, first thing we're going to do is get the networking set up to talk between these two tools, right? So uh, we have two options here. We can connect via uh, wire connection here. There's a, a little LAN connection under this door. Plug in there, and I'm, I can talk directly via the network. Or uh, here, there's a little door, which I can plug in a, a wireless uh, dongle to talk directly to the camera. I prefer the wireless solution because it's wireless, uh, but uh, also because it's much easier to sort of set up quickly and jump on. Uh, but of course, in some scenarios, you need the wired connection, so that's there as well. Uh, to get in the menus to control the wireless settings, we, it's a little tricky, but uh, I'll show you how to do that really quickly. If you go to the menu here on the side and go down to peripherals, we can do a couple things to get us connected. Uh, the first thing you should do is go to Network Select and choose LAN or WLAN wireless. Uh, in this case, I'll choose wireless LAN, WLAN. Great. Uh, and then I'm going to go down into uh, my wireless properties. I can go to LAN properties, just so you see it here, to set up my IP address locally at the system via, uh, via, via hardwire. Uh, but I'm not going to do this in this case because, of course, I'm using wireless. Go to wireless properties. And here I have some key parameters to, sh to set, namely the SSID, the sort of the network the name of the uh, wireless network that it's creating. This is actually going to create a sort of ad hoc network, right? So it's, I'm going to, my computer is going to uh, talk directly to this tool, uh, to the camera. Uh, it's just defaulted to the VREC 1G. That's the name of the recorder. So that's the name of the unit. That's fine for me. Uh, and then below this, under encryption key, I can set a password for the network, right? So I'm going to have to set a password here. It defaults to some odd long thing. I recommend just deleting that and adding your own password in. Uh, and then that way, you, whenever you connect to the wireless network, you have that password ready to go. And then finally, they, they have the IP address here of the actual, uh, of the actual uh, camera. The default is 192.168.01. It's fine for me. Again, if I'm connecting directly to it, that's a good IP address to have and know and easy to remember. Uh, and then finally, DHCP server should be enabled so that the camera actually will sign your computer an IP address, again, making it very easy uh, to connect to the whole system. So the last important thing to do is under network function, which is where we can set a uh, account to log into the system. So we have an IP, we have a uh, uh, SSID login, a login for the actual wireless network, but we also need to set up a uh, account uh, to uh, uh, get into the system. By default, there's a guest login here, uh, but we also uh, could add our own. I've added Able Cine here. Uh, and to do that, to add it, you go under user account and you can essentially just type in uh, a username and password. So you have to have this as well. Again, just put something easy that you can remember here. You will need it again in live grade. So exit out of that. The next big thing for controlling the color of the camera is actually getting it ready to talk uh, to, to live grade uh, wirelessly, so, or just remotely anyway. We do that under the color tab here on the side of the system. Go to color here. And, and this tool is very powerful, by the way. It has lots of options. It lets us load in 3D LUTs and, and CDL files via an SD card. But we can also set it up for external recording. So uh, the first place to go to get started on this is main color, right? Your main color should uh, be set to, hit, hit it twice, uh, should be set to uh, V log. It's the only way you're going to actually gain any kind of uh, uh, Q adjustments, et cetera. Uh, that's sort of the base native settings of the camera. So go ahead and just stay in vlog if you're already there. Uh, the other modes are great for other applications, but we need to be there for this. So choose that. Next over from that, we can choose a couple different things. This is called a grading select, right? So uh, we go to grading select here, and we can choose, do we want to use an uh, internal combination of, of grading options, uh, basically a loaded file, 
or do I want to use an external application uh, to uh, control it? And I'm going to use live grade here, uh, so I want to choose external. But if I choose internal, I can again put a, 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 LUT, a LUT file or a CDL on a card and load it in that way. But for this time, we're going to say choose external. And then finally, next to that is subcolor, which is actually just asking you what do you want uh, to do with the, the sub recording or the sort of proxy recording of the camera. Do you want to get the, be the, you want that to be in log, or do you want to burn in the sort of the look that you're creating, right? So I hit the button and it says grading now. So you could also burn in different things. Okay, we got that working. That's the main setting. Now it gets a little bit more complicated my, uh, in terms of how I actually am, am interacting with the system, right? So the camera actually has sort of two layers of LUTs in the system, if you want to think of it that way. Uh, the camera natively is in a V-log, V-gamut space. Uh, and to get out of that, I apply a 3D LUT, right? They have built-in 3D LUTs, which you find here uh, under this grading control 3D LUT, which take it from V-log, V-gamut into 709. They're going to call that V709, right? Uh, and then it also has a, another layer of what's called the CDL layer, right? So that's the color decisionless layer. These are the two layers happening in the camera, and I can actually interact with both of them. It's very powerful that way. Uh, so I can choose to only control the CDL, or I can choose to control both the 3D and the CDL. Very, very cool that way. So for now, I want to leave the 3D lot to just be V709, right? I'm going to have the camera apply that itself. It's already built in there. That's, it's good to go. It's converting V gamut, V log to 709. I like it. Uh, CDL, uh, I want to have on, meaning that I'm going to be able to control that externally. I want that. And then finally, on the output here, I have the option, which is this last menu here, monitor set. I can choose what kind of grades go where, right? That's an important option. So right now, my monitor is not getting a LUT. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on monitor output to be the grading LUT and monitor out part two to be the grading LUT, and heck, I'll put the viewfinder to be the grading LUT too. So a couple options there, good. So now I have LUTs everywhere, right? Now it's time to actually work with Pomfort and the, the LiveGrade software to do, the, to do what we need to do.